I'm going to be honest, sometimes I get a kick out of cleaning and organizing. It's just something about it that's very, I don't know, freeing just makes you have more of a clear head, if that makes any sense. So I figured the next best thing to do was to finally organize my shelves in my room because I have quite a pile forming somewhere here of ones that are gonna need a home. And for the most part, my shelves, well, the puzzle boxes are kind of just thrown everywhere. Well, let me just show you. So at the very top of my bookshelf is all my Disney puzzles so far. Um, but as you can see, this doesn't have a spot to go in. I have, this one is piled up here. That That's where the Haunted Mansion puzzle box is. And then the rest of my shelf is basically, well, that's my coffee. As you can tell, I, I collect quite a few things. A lot of these items here are things I've had since I was a child, mainly my Sailor Moon collection here. I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan, and I have been since I was a child. So that's my little collection. That's only a few of the things that I currently have. I have my other items stashed somewhere else. I like anime, so I have my Helsing collection. I am a huge, huge, huge Batman fan. He's my number one superhero. Then down here, I have my collection of Vampire Hunter D novels, um, my Disney mugs that I got recently that I need to find a home downstairs for. This is actually a candy a candy holder i have to move that downstairs those are my my can holders for like soda cans um over here is my fear street collection from the nandis um that's the rest of my fear street collection that i started collecting about a year ago and i had to stop because the three or four that i am missing are like 50 60 dollars each which i cannot afford especially with all these puzzles that i have and then down here is basically just the rest of the puzzles that kind of just been thrown in place and more puzzles oh who remembers these thermoses in your lunch boxes this is super 90s huh that's still my original one from when i was a child and then those three those are from the last puzzle haul you saw for the autumn one and then we have Snow White here, which I never did put back on the shelf because really it doesn't fit anywhere, um, at least not neatly. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two shelves of books, move them down one. I would kind of like to have my puzzles in these two shelves here instead of one up there and then one all the way on the bottom. I'm going to move this shelf up here, move that shelf down here, and then these two all the way down and move that one up. I'm probably making it sound more confusing than what it is, but we'll do that together. And then I'm trying to find some other spots in my room. And I found down here, I could probably, that, that'd be a good spot to store some extra puzzles in there. I also have an area here of a bookshelf of things we've been kind of like emptying out over time. So I've gotten some space here. These puzzles, to be honest, look good on this shelf. I think I'm gonna leave these here. Th these were from the Dollar General Hall and that's from the Hershey Park Hall. And there is another shelf over here that has kind of like the small boxes and you'll recognize some of them from my, what was it, Dollar General Hall? And I have a Dollar Tree Hall. And I think I'm gonna put like the little baby puzzle boxes in that shelf. So I have, I do have some space here, this is good. This I think will be kind of like the non-Disney shelf. So probably could use a dusting too to be honest Ooh, embarrassing this is real life here um so yeah let's get started with moving these shelves down and then start organizing it all all right let's get started <laughs> through it too might as well right kind of gets neglected after a while 
I hate dusting. Do you hate dusting? It's like, you almost feel like, what's the point? I dust it and then in a few days, the dust is back on it again. It's obnoxious. That has to be done, right? <laughs>
Oh no. I guess it's gonna have to go with the mini puzzles for now. There we go. That's all we can really do for now. That's not bad. Got a home now. Now I just realized I have all those um, shipping boxes filled with, um, there's more puzzles in them. That's pretty much all my space. Oh, no, wait a minute. I have this space down here as well that I can utilize if needs be. Well, I'm really happy how that turned out, to be honest. The bigger challenge is trying to keep it this way and not just throwing puzzle boxes that I get into any spot that I find and just take the few minutes to just organize it. So let me know what you think about this setup here. If you have a better idea or some other organizing hacks that you'd like to share, please let me know because I could use all the help I can get sometimes. Sometimes I get a kick out of cleaning and organizing. It's just something about it that's very, I don't know, freeing just makes you have more of a clear head, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I deal with anxiety a lot. And if I have too much mess around me, it just totally messes me up. Are you guys the same? Like you just, you don't feel like cleaning, but if you have a mess, then it drives you just as crazy as cleaning would. Am I making sense here? But yeah, a cleaner environment definitely helps my mind ease a bit better, especially after you come home from work. I work part-time, but I work like every other day, so I don't really get like a two-day weekend. I'm, so I'm busy, you know, between that, you know, cooking, cleaning, household stuff. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. Sometimes you just got to take a moment to just clear your surroundings, organize a bit to help clear your mind. And, you know, for me, puzzles is another way to help me clear my mind. And it's it's why I do them. It's the time I take for myself to kind of just take a step back, sit down, grab a cup of coffee, put some music on, and just, you know, get in the mood of relaxation and just, you know, having fun with the good puzzle. And you know me, you know how I am about puzzle images. If if I'm so into it, you know I'm gonna like jump into the image. That's That's like my thing. So it's kind of like an escape in a way. Do you guys do that as well? Or am I just like the only crazy one on this planet that does things like that? And again, thank you to all those who've joined my channel. It's really exciting and motivating. It's encouraging to know that there is others out there who enjoy puzzles as much as I do. It's also been really nice seeing your comments and just writing back to you, I feel like I got pen pals or something, you know? I'm an introvert, so I don't really get out much aside from like work and doing everyday family household things. So I'm seeing now that joining YouTube has made it a much easier way for me to connect with others who share the same interest as I do. And it's nice to know that people are watching you, you know, like not in a strange way, but you know, they're watching you on YouTube and it's, you know, YouTube is like a job for most people. So it's not, it's not an easy task to accomplish. It's, it's no small feat. One thing I've learned, you know, in the last few years is you really have to take time for yourself. You know, figure if I were to YouTube, you know, what would I do? I'm sure puzzles, you know, doing puzzles as a YouTube channel isn't like the very first thing most people would think of starting YouTube with. To many, it's not the most riveting thing in the world, but to some of us, you know, it's it's everything. It's relaxing, it's fun, it's therapeutic. Even the challenging ones, you know, kind of something to just get your mind out of the, the everyday things and just to sit back and put some music on. You know me, I put some scents on as well, it's just to, you know, some aromatherapies. You know, sitting down to a good puzzle really helps ease the everyday stresses of life. And that's just kind of why I, I do it. So yeah, thank you for joining me on this YouTube journey and for really helping me continue to move forward with it and do new things and, you know, learn more. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.